Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're back here with this 2017 Cadillac XT5, and today's video is going to be about how to remove the front bumper cover of the XT5. Now, why would you want to do this? Uh, there's lots of things that you can access by removing the front bumper cover. Uh, maybe you need to repair or replace or upgrade your uh, headlights, um, maybe change to a different style grill. Um, there's all kinds of things uh, that are accessible by removing the front bumper cover, and it's not as bad as it sounds. Now, why am I removing the front bumper cover? Uh, well, I've decided to install the optional uh, emblem package in the monochrome finish. Uh, this is an official uh, GM accessory, and this works on all of the year models currently available on the XT5, so 2017 all the way up to... I guess they're up to 2022 or 2023 now. And uh, so this is a kit that you can get directly from GM. And it uh, comes with both the front uh, grill emblem and then the one that goes on the lift gate as well. And as you'll see when I unbox these in a moment, since these are actual official GM accessories, they are the same quality as what came on the car, just in a different finish. So none of that poor quality finish we saw on that uh, light up emblem I tried to purchase for my X-T5 uh, in, uh, in that last video and I'll put a link to that uh, up here on the top right of the video in case you're interested. So let's take a quick look at this uh, package. This is the part number, uh, the official GM part number for the kit. Um, so let's just take a quick look at what we've got here. Not a whole lot. All right, so we have a little bit of documentation here, but this is basically just a shipping label and it doesn't actually have the instructions. Um, actually, it's not even a shipping label. It's just basically a little documentation that tells you where you can find the instructions. So they do have instructions for installing this kit on their website, um, which I'll link to in the video description um, in case you wanna follow that, but I find videos are a little easier to follow. And it also comes with a little prep pad. Um, this is going to be for cleaning the body of the vehicle on the liftgate emblem. And here are the emblems. Um, so these, uh, these have a really cool look to them. And, um, you know, this is going to be, I'm sure, a personal preference thing. I'm sure there's some people that will just uh, uh, don't like the look at all. But, you know, frankly, all of the... Uh, uh, all of the newer models are starting to go to this style. In fact, uh, they've kind of been transitioning, Cadillac's been tra transitioning into this for quite a while, in my opinion. I mean, if you look at the uh, emblems on the side of the X-T5, even on this 2017, and um, on the wheels, on the hubcaps, um, they're all this monochrome finish. Um, what's cool about these is, depending on how you look at them, depending on how the light hits them, um, the different grays and blacks look different. So they get more pronounced depending on the angle. So it's a really cool look. And what I like is on my SRX, um, the emblems on the wheels and really everything were colored and the, the especially the red would start to fade over the years. So uh, I don't think it started fading on this one yet, but um, in any case, you don't have to worry about the reds fading and looking pink. Um, but that's just a really cool look. Um, this one does that too, so depending on what, how the light hits it, um, it's pretty neat. And so this is the one, the smaller one's the one that goes on the lift gate, and it comes with an adhesive pad already on it. And the larger one is for the grill, and it's got, um, it's got these little plastic clips. But unfortunately, there is not a way to um, remove the old one short of um, pulling the front bumper cover off. So there's just nowhere to reach back behind there. Trust me, I've looked uh, in order to release those clips. Now, I suppose um, you could sit there with a pry tool and, you know, and if you weren't worried about, you know, destroying the other one, you might be able to get it off. But I'd be really... Um, concerned about scratching the rest of the grill or breaking something so we're going to do it the official way and plus it gives us a good excuse to see how to remove the front bumper cover all right so we're going to start off by um, popping the hood and working on the top front edge of the bumper uh, cover uh, to release some fasteners there 
Now in the official instructions, um, they have you um, pulling this whole piece of weather stripping off the front uh, bumper cover, uh, which I looked at this a little closely and um, as far as I can tell, um, there's really no reason to pull off the whole piece. Um, I think what they're wanting us to get access to are uh, there's a retainer on this side and this side underneath this rubber piece. Um, so if you've worked on this kind of stuff before, you know how fragile little plastic clips can be. So um, I'm going to uh, attempt to uh, not pull off any more of this than is necessary. Um, so let's look at that a little closer. So now I'm here on the passenger side and I've already started to loosen this up. And so there's these little plastic clips um, that hold this weather stripping in. And you can see uh, right here, I think this is actually um, what, what, they're, what they're after. And there's one of those on, on both the passenger side and the driver's side. So it appears to me there's probably another one of these plastic clips uh, here, but um, just releasing the one should gain, gain us access to this fastener. And so I'm going to pull that out. And that just comes out like that. And so we'll repeat the process on the other side. Now, if you're going to leave that piece of weather stripping in like I'm going to, um, you will have to release uh, this part of it right here. You can see there's a joint right here um, and just let that hang off. I'm kind of thinking the reason that they have you pulling this whole piece off um, would be if you were going to actually replace the grill. Um, but I don't believe you have to actually take the grill out of the bumper front bumper cover assembly for just doing the um, emblem. So if you're watching this video to do the grill replacement, then yes, you'll probably want to work these little uh, these little plastic nubs off and pull the whole piece of weather stripping. Uh, but let's go ahead and pull this whole piece loose. So I believe it, there's just little hooks here. Um, so if we just pull it this way, and that came out, you can see. And now that's loose. All right, the instructions, the official instructions are a little vague, but um, next we have um, some T15 retainers we'll need to remove. Um, uh, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Um, the instructions kind of make it look like they're just more of those push clips, but these are actually uh, T15s. All right, for the next step, um, there are going to be some uh, seven millimeter bolts um, along this edge and along the wheel well edge um, that we need to remove. There's um, three kind of along this edge and three along the bottom of the wheel well arch or the wheel well area. Um, <clears throat> so they do say to jack up the car to do this. I, I'm just not going to bother with that, but we'll see if we can get a, a shot of it anyway. All right, so hopefully now you can see um, we've got these bolts here. The instructions made it look like there are three, but I see two. One, two, and there's one in this corner, one here, and one all the way back here. So let's back those out real quick. <laughs> And so, yeah, it looks like this little piece just comes all the way off. All right, so the next step is we need to remove this little wheel arch piece of trim here. And this is another area where the instructions are pretty vague, but I've had this off before, so I can give you some pointers and we'll go over that now. One thing I will say is that this piece of trim is somewhat fragile in that this outer layer that you see is actually a separate piece from from another piece of plastic that the clips mount to. And the reason I know this is one time after I got this vehicle serviced, one of the sides was very loose. And, and what happened is there's little plastic welds that hold the two pieces together. And I think they had just pried it off from the outside and broken those plastic welds. I ended up just, um, just repairing that myself rather than dealing with them again. Um, but um, the way I like to do it is to uh, we'll cut the wheels one direction here and pull this liner loose a little bit and then that lets you feel back here 
and just release the clips by hand. Um, so let's do that real quick. All right, that should give us plenty of room to work. And again, these are just uh, T15s. So we've just got four of those along the front edge. And what they're after here is there's actually, just like the SRX, if you watch my video on that, there's actually uh, gonna be a bolt right in here that you have to access. So that's what we're after. Um, they say you don't have to remove this whole piece of trim. Um, I'm gonna see what that feels like once we get it off. Again, we wanna be careful with this, so we don't wanna be putting it on under any unnecessary stress. So now I'm gonna pull the wheel liner back just a hair. And now you should be able to feel the clips back here. Now I'm just pushing on the back of those clips instead of putting all the pressure on this piece of trim. And I think this is popped down in the bottom there. So I think we can need to lift it up. And I'm gonna go ahead and remove this light. There's just a clip up in the top, up in the bottom. And we do need to remove that light um, because the wire goes through the bumper cover. Different type of clip up here that you can just pinch to remove. And that should give us, I agree with them, you don't, I, I think that's going to give us enough clearance. Basically, we just need this seam right here um, in the bumper cover, we just need, uh, need it to be released there. So like I said, there is a bolt, or there should be a bolt, um, right where these two panels meet. Now you can see how mine's nice and loose already. Well, that's because the bolt appears to be missing on mine. So that's a thing. So theoretically, this bottom portion of the uh, bumper cover should be loose. <clears throat> so that's a little bit tricky to pull out of there. Um, there's little tabs that hold all that in place. Um, so basically we're going to want to turn around and repeat this process on the driver's side. All right, next uh, we've got uh, four more of, I believe, those uh, seven millimeter bolts across the bottom, which I'll try to get a shot of underneath. Okay, so here we are underneath, and again, I don't know if the instructions vary a little bit. You know, this is a platinum, so the bumper's a little different with this metal and everything, or if somebody did not put some bolts back, but this is this doesn't have any bolts underneath here. I'll have to look closer when I get this off and see if it looks like there's even places for them. Um, and try to hunt some down. Otherwise, this thing's feeling pretty loose. All right, so as you can see, I've got a old drop cloth down, and that means that we are ready for uh, pulling this front bumper cover off. Um, now, because we left this here, we're gonna be, wanna be very careful that we don't get it hung, uh, make sure everything clears off. Um, this is where or clears it out of the way. This is where having an assistant would probably be helpful. Um, but we'll see what happens. And there's little nubs up here on either side, so I think we have to pull that up. I didn't really say, but... Yeah. Yeah, so there was a little nub on the top of the headlight that you kind of got to lift it off of to release. And the trick here is easy does it. And same thing, we're gonna have to lift it off of some bolts up here. Feels like we're loose, just double checking. We're not scraping up against anything. That's it. And honestly, 
that's not nearly as hard as it was on the SRX, at least on that final stage. Okay, so it does look like we have a big um, electrical connection, so let's disconnect that. All right, so we're here on the uh, passenger side, and you can see we've got a nice big old electrical connection that everything uh, on the front bumper cover connects to. So I'm going to say this tab right here has something to do with it. All right, so this little red tab here, we're going to pull that back. All right, so you've got to get that this white release to clear the red thing. Right now. Jeez. There we go. So that's a little tricky to say the least. All right, so now we've got a nice overview of what the front of the X-T5 looks like, minus the bumper cover. So let's see if we can get that emblem off there. Okay, so much to my disappointment, um, at least on the premium, or I'm sorry, the platinum trim of the X-T5, which has a different grill than all the other trims, uh, there's quite a bit blocking the clips that hold that emblem on. So I'll zoom in here a second. Um, so this little hole is basically um, the only access you have to the emblem and there really wasn't any real access to the clips on the emblem. Um, if you looked real close, you could sort of see the two bottom clips and the two top clips through this hole, but the other ones, um, there's two more along the top, and then there's two on each side. Um, the two on the top, I was able to sort of get to by popping the, this loose. Um, but the thing about it is, um, the instructions um, show a totally different grill, and what they show, hold on, let me move this camera around. So they show this piece here that goes around the emblem um, as being a separate piece that pops out so then you can get to the clips on the emblem. On this one, on the platinum, it's part of these two um, pieces of chrome. So you would have had to take that whole black piece off and then carefully there's a bunch of clips that um, clip this front, these front pieces of chrome to the black. So that would have been the proper way to do it. I was a little nervous to do that just because there's about a thousand clips that you could you could break in the process and I didn't want to have any risk of damaging um, the grill. So unfortunately I ended up just kind of brute forcing my way in and I was able to release some clips normally through that access I just mentioned and once I got some of them loose I was able to get in there and carefully with plastic tools pull back enough to get a screwdriver in there without scuffing up anything and um, get the old one off. Now, unfortunately in the process, and I'm, you know, I'm not one to, um, I, I prefer to take things off the proper way, um, but it just got to the point where that wasn't gonna happen. So this is the old one and you can see that, yep, I broke clips, but it just got to the point where Unless I was going to risk the front of this grill and pulling it all apart, it wasn't going to happen. So, unfortunately, this one will not really be reusable, but I don't know that I'd taken the time to resell it anyway. So, um, one thing's for sure, uh, hopefully I like the new look because unless I'm ordering another one of these, I'm not going back to the old one. Um, so let me pop the new one on. Okay, so hopefully this um, this new emblem snaps on without any drama. Yep. <laughs> that was easy. If you guys could have seen how long I fought getting the other one off there. Holy cow. All right, so that looks quite nice. Let me get ready to set this bumper back on the car. 
So pretty much this entire process will be the reverse of what we saw before. So nice that they gave you absolutely zero guidance on this plug. All right, it goes back like that. Put the lock back. Now, they say to tape this up. I usually, at least on the last car, I would just drape some old cloths over it, keep it from scratching up the side of the car. And now, let's see how this goes back on here. basically just a matter of lining everything back up carefully, slowly, so you don't scratch anything. And so from here on out, it's basically the reverse of what we did earlier. All right, so hopefully this one will be a little bit less drama. Um, never done this before. There's several methods to pulling one of these off. Um, the method in the factory instructions has you heating it up with a heat gun. Um, the only thing about heating something up like this with a heat gun, that you, have, you have to be really careful not to get it too hot and damage the paint. Um, I've also seen people use uh, fishing line and dental floss. So I do have some dental floss handy. I think I'm going to start with that and see what happens. Um, basically the idea is that you get the floss behind it and just kind of saw the adhesive away. And so we'll see if this method works. Hmm, really tied up against the body. There we go. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if they just don't make dental floss like they used to, or if we're going to have to try something else. This seems to be some weird dental floss anyway. Hmm. All right, I got some fishing line this time, and I've added some painter's tape here so that I can line the new one up. Ah, it was working better. So I'm going to heat it up a little bit. if that makes any difference. Do you see the emblem moving? Yeah, that's different. You can actually see it um, moving back and forth as I'm sawing through the adhesive. Oh, actually. Huh. Well, that's great. All right, so the heat did loosen up something, but it looks like it loosened up the emblem. So, the instructions were right. 
the uh, adding that little bit of heat is what what made the difference. So now we're going to sit here and clean up all this adhesive, which probably is going to take a minute. I won't bore you with all of that, but usually you can use the adhesive itself to kind of stick to itself. All right, that was kind of a pain, but got all that off there. And I'm here to tell you this one little pad, prep pad they gave you isn't, isn't nearly enough. Um, so thankfully I had a bottle of alcohol that I'll go ahead and use what they gave me to do a final clean on it. And then hopefully this tape I left on here will let me line it up exactly the way it was before. Make sure it's nice and clean with the microfiber cloth. And then I'm just going to kind of get a feel for it. I've still got the backing on it. Well, I can kind of see where it was before, just kind of like a shadow of it. And then I'm going to line it up with the tape. Actually, I might add some more tape. Well, I can kind of see the edge of where the press ended on that side, so I'm just going to use that as a point of reference. Okay, here goes nothing. Barely tapping it on there just to make sure I like where it's at. Looks pretty good. I think I'm going to take the light off or the tape off and just check it before I commit. Yeah, it looks good to me. I'm just going to apply some pressure. Man, that looks sharp. Alrighty guys, that about does it for this video. I hope, uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it's helpful to somebody. And I uh, hope you'll consider subscribing. We've got a bunch of other videos on this X-T5 as well as a Cadillac SRX and a a second generation Cadillac CTS. Um, so check those videos out. And for now, here's some glamour shots of the new emblems.